welcome to whiskey.com by Fine Spirits Mead. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And well, today we're here to present the best whiskies from April, the awards, the whiskey.com awards from April, April 2022. I'm a little bit exhausted. I was on my way on my bike. I still have some marks of the helmet and the wrong glasses here. <laughs> yeah, keep yourself fit. <laughs> yeah, it's getting summer. Yes. So, um, the first one we're starting off is the Glen Caddam Andalusia. I think we really <laughs> put some some distance between us and the bottles because uh, there's a bit of a vacation time, so it's a long time now. But yeah. I think we've tried it together. And it was yes, I've been in Andalusia just before, mm -hmm. and this is a really ah, fantastic yeah. matured uh, sherry cask matured whiskey. Oloroso sherry cask finish. Wonderful. Yeah, it was, and I think it's uh, it's not a limited edition, right? No, I think that's one of the yeah. new extensions to the. Mm -hmm. uh, different ages, 10 years old, 15 years old, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have something different. We have an Irish whiskey that I've tried, and that is the Tipperary Irish Single Malt Whiskey. And it's a rather light one. It's a good one and has wine influences in it. So it's a good summer whiskey. And it's not from Scotland, it's an Irish one. But I think uh, the Tipperary is a, a smaller one. Unfortunately, I've not been to Tipperary yet. Uh, is it a distillery or is it a I think it's a distillery. Body? It's a distillery. They are, they are growing like mushrooms in Ireland. I know of uh, two dozen uh, mm. were founded in the last but 10 years, something. You're not quite wrong. I think they had a brand out there before ah. they had their own stuff. But okay. this is now... <laughs> Their own stuff. Okay. So okay. yes, there was uh, a blended from different distillery with Tipperary whiskey, but that was blended, and now we have the Irish single malt whiskey. Right. Next one is Ben Romach, and we had that together. And mm -hmm. we, uh, it's more than a year ago, and uh, we uh, we have to say it's a uh, exclusive here for the German market. Unfortunately, not all all uh, ways available. 48% first fill sherry and bourbon casks. So it's a wonderful uh, whiskey with a touch of peat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they only have one really peaty one and the others have just a smidge of peat in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. the last one, the Glen Scotia, is a whiskey.de exclusive. So it was chosen by us, so it <laughs> doesn't get an award, but <laughs> it gets an honorable mention because it's how we... We've just found such a nice bottling that we just can't, yeah, yeah. miss out on it because it was just that good. But don't give yourself awards. <laughs> yeah. And we had uh, the normal amount of bottles here in April, but it doesn't make out to have more than those three. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the others didn't match up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, honorary mention for a uh, Glen Scotia Whiskey De exclusive. It was a first fill PX Hogshead. And yeah, just nice, very nice bottling. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was it for the whiskey.com awards for April 2022. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.